Hey everyone, New312 here, and welcome back to my reviews of Fate Day, not Fate Day, Nine Fate Zero. This time's episodes 10 through 11. You want to see the entire episode, check out Patreon down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But, I just don't want to do that at the end now. Episode 10, I want to talk about that first because it, that was fine. I thought Ren was really fucking adorable. Like, it didn't really do anything at all, but it's really fucking adorable seeing Ren being the same Ren, just in a smaller form. And I want a daughter like her, because she's just absolutely fucking precious and wholesome, and everything about her is perfect. Anyone who wants to hurt her, harm her, or do anything to her uh, has to go through me. Uh, dad mode here. Touch her, and I'll fucking kill you. Just hands down. I would have preferred if the chick that he, she was saving actually mattered and was like I, uh, like Ayako or something. You know, someone that had some relevance to the story in Fate Stay Night later on. But, you know, that would have been cool. I guess not. Episode 11, though. Ugh, got a lot of shit happen. It was just really upsetting. Seeing just random shit getting tossed around left and right and being like, oh, yeah, this is fine. Hey, we're going to talk as kings, but at the end of it, Saber's just going to uh, sit there and take it like a good little fucking girl and uh, not speak. She's going to say stupid shit that makes no sense at all in any context. Because why make sense context-wise when I can just make shit up? And it's just really fucking dumb. And it's just really annoying when they say things about her that just aren't true. Like, just some of the shit that they were saying just wasn't true. Like, why? Why? Why are we doing some of this stuff? Like, they were talking about how he, or she in this case, like, coddled and her people and whatever. That's not what she did. She sacrificed her people. How is that coddling them? How is that protecting them or, like, not doing shit? Like, she, like, the people didn't know how to stand on their own or whatever. But they fucking did. Like, it didn't collapse because of something she did or didn't do in this case. I mean, maybe it's because she wasn't as personable with everyone around her. So they felt really off-put by her. But it wasn't anything like her being weak or uh, as a weak ruler or something. I think that's just really fucking dumb to come out to it. And then like the whole, like, if you regret something, then you, you are wrong. But the whole point of the Holy Grail War is you fucking regret something. Like, that's why you want the Grail, because something's missing that you need. Like, that's the whole point of getting the Grail. People who have no desire for the Grail or have no no desire for a wish to be fulfilled, i.e. regret, or don't get summoned into a fucking class. I know that gets retconned later as, like, the ruler class or whatever. But, like, these people don't exist. Like, you can't be summoned and not have a desire for the Grail or to have to change something. Even Alexander's here saying that he wants to be reincarnated so he can incarnate like conquer the world that's inherently a regret that he wasn't able to conquer the world in his first life what do you mean you ha don't have regrets like that's just so fucking dumb like necessarily you have regrets at the end gilgamesh didn't get Im immortality that's a regret like he's not gonna say it's a regret enkidu dying that's a regret it caused him severe depression, which is why he wanted to get immortality in the first place. Are we gonna act like this isn't a fucking regret? Then he let his friend die? Well, he didn't really let it die because it's just kind of what happens with the bowl of heaven. But, like, are we really gonna act like none of these things are fucking regrets? But magically, because Saber here is the punching bag and the, the little girl, as they kept referring to her, or as he kept referring to her, totally not, uh... Meaning something else there, by the way. But, like, just because of that, like, this is fine to say, like, it's her fault for feeling regret or something. Of course, when something doesn't end in the way you want it to end, you're gonna feel regret. Like, it's bullshit to say it's not. Come on. That's ridiculous. 
And then not arguing against any of it. Like, all of her people turned on her, but they didn't. Like, some did. But it wasn't... In... Like, there's a lot of nuance to this stuff that wasn't argued at all. It was just kind of just accepted by her, which... Why is she just accepting things sitting down? They're literally saying she's not a king and she's just sitting there and taking it? What the fuck? What happened to that pride or whatever? Now we're just gonna sit here and take it like a little fucking bitch? Come on! Stand up! Do something! You take your master to task because he does something wrong, but you're not gonna take these guys to task? Caster says you're a different person. You just get a little upset. And, you know, say, I'm a saber. But now these people are literally questioning your right to kingdom? Or kingship in this case. And you're just fucking accepting it? You throw off these bullshit, like, things to get immediately knocked down, but that's okay? Ah, god damn. I expect her to do fucking something. Not just take it. And that's what's, like, extremely infuriating to me. That... You just accept someone calling you out and saying you're not this thing when you've built this whole life on being this thing. And it's just really odd to see. Given everything she's done, even in this series or in this show, that is. And she just kind of like, okay, I'll fight on literally every other principle, but not this one. This one, I'll just, uh, um, mm, mm, ah. Do all that time. Fuck off. Fuck off. And then with Assassin. Uh, uh, Tokiomi telling Assassin to go all out. And, uh, you know, at all costs try to win. But just stands there and fucking dies? Hello? Use your noble phantasm. Your Hassan. If it's anything like Stay Nights Hassan, you can grab his heart and break it. Or in, like, shatter it, or rupture it, I guess, in this case, because it's an organ. Why not do something? At least try to kill people, don't just stand there. Well, I mean, it's a complete mismatch and squash match, obviously, because she does, or she, they, don't have a anti-army noble phantasm, so obviously they're gonna get fucking bodied. Anyone who has an anti-army noble phantasm, though, is gonna steamroll that army, because that's the whole point of the noble phantasm. But it's really fucking dumb. That assassin just stands there. What was the point of assassin this entire time? If we're just going to throw assassin away anyways, who cares? Why did we do the whole show? What? Like, are we stop watching Masters now? We got what we needed? Hello? We don't know what Caster's Noble Phantasm is. What was the point of saying I'm going to follow Berserker's Master if you're not going to follow Berserker's Master anyways? You don't know what his noble phantasm is. Who knows? Nobody does. What was the fucking point of assassin? What was the fucking point? Because at this point, it didn't serve a single goddamn point. He didn't kill anyone. He didn't even get close to killing anyone. What, they had that ambush against Ryder, but he could see him because they didn't have their presence concealment up, I guess. Uh, fucking Kiritsugu saw him. That didn't matter. Fucking Ren's people didn't see him, but they were around. That's like crazy. They didn't do jack fucking shit. What was the whole point of the Gilgamesh fight? To like, make him s scared of Gilgamesh? But you didn't do anything with it. It was a fucking waste of time. Just it's fucking stupid. Just fucking stupid with the whole uh, assassin thing, honestly. They should have just had assassin dying regularly to someone. It was just one assassin and just getting bodied. Like, it was this whole point. It was pointless, this entire thing about assassin. Everything they showed was something you could have gotten with a familiar. Because nothing was gained except seeing Ryder's noble phantasm, I guess. That's what we fucking gained. But if Gil attacks him, Gil's gonna fucking beat him. It, that didn't matter. I don't care what his fucking noble phantasm is. Gil can beat it. Like, it's just... Stupid. No, like, that entire thing with Assassin is so beyond fucking stupid. Saber just taking it like a little bitch. 
instead of being a king about it. But no, she's not king anymore because... I said so. Or her, her. <laughs> you are too nice to the people and not greedy. Sure, she is now, apparently. She was actually a really nice king. Everyone loved her. They didn't actually think she was a cold king at all. She was actually really warm, friendly, baked cookies for everyone, and that's why they sucked. That's why they fell apart, because uh, they were too uh, used to peace and not actually, uh, you know... All the people that were invading Britain? Yeah, that just didn't fucking happen. Because they were being too uh, too sweet with each other. All that was just, you know, flavor text. Well, you know, stuff that didn't happen. They didn't worry about that. So fucking obnoxious. Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, I know if you don't like Saber, it's like, whatever, I don't care about her getting bodied. I don't even like Saber. That's the fucking problem that I have issues with this. Like, I know someone will inherently think I'm some fucking Saber fanboy. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. If you think that, just go watch me talk about Fate Stay Night. God fucking damn it. Like, the first person that says I'm going to be like, oh, you like Saber too much. Like, fucking check yourself before you say something fucking stupid like that. God damn. But it doesn't mean I just like seeing someone get shit on and not even defend themselves in a real way. And it's like... The perfect straw men that were just being knocked down constantly about her. That didn't affect her. And it wasn't even the point. Ugh. Fucking frustrating. Fucking frustrating. Who knows? Maybe next time they won't shit on her. But she probably will. No, she'll probably shit on or try to shit on someone else and then get shit on again. Because, you know, it's Saber. Things happen, I guess. And she said, oh no, someone didn't like me in my round kit table. Maybe that's how everyone felt about me. A fucking course. Because one person dictates the rest of the round table. What the fuck? You know, a bunch of other people fought by my side and died by my side. But you know, maybe they didn't actually like me at all. Maybe they didn't respect me. So fucking dumb. Get out of here. Anyway, so this uh, episode wasn't exactly my favorite, but Rent was nice. So, you know what? It balances out. It balances out. Who knows? Here's up to 12 and 13. Hope it's not terrible. See you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be sure to dislike the video because I have opinions. And, uh, have a great day.